Hi, my name is KD. In this session, I'm going to discuss uh, service requests and service level agreements in Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. So when you are operating in Oracle Cloud Infrastructure, and if you run into any issues, uh, there are uh, some things uh, that are there uh, to help you. Uh, so I'm going to talk about uh, how to get help with OCI issues, look at the service uh, health dashboard, uh, and Cloud Customer Connect. We are going to look at uh, the My Oracle Support Portal. How do you register with it? How you open an account? Uh, and how do you log your service requests? We are going to talk about service level agreements uh, in OCI and how they are uh, different than typical SLEs. Uh, we are going to talk about uh, how do you check on your uh, limits uh, and your current quotas and usage of OCI resources. And if you need additional resources, how do you request uh, service level increases in OCI? And finally, we are also going to talk about some uh, support semantics in terms of uh, severity level and uh, how do you uh, contact support if you need to talk to somebody, etc. So let's get started. The very first thing uh, when you are operating in OCI and run into any issues and you think that something is not working as expected, my suggestion is to first go to the OCI service health dashboard and it is available at the ocistatus.oraclecloud.com. So on this page, uh, it tells you in real time what's happening uh, across all the different services in OCI as well as uh, all the different uh, regions in OCI as well. Uh, it gives you an instant incident history for uh, any past issues and you can also subscribe to, subscribe to any updates as well. Uh, the next thing is to look at uh, the uh, known issues and the workarounds page. Uh, actually, before uh, we look at that page, I would uh, strongly recommend bookmarking docs.cloud.oracle.com slash IAS for your OCI related documentation. The documentation is very extensive. All the uh, services you want to uh, learn about, uh, all the information, whether it's about implementing or operating those services is available. Uh, and it also provides some useful links to release notes uh, to the console that we'll look at shortly as well, as well as to the service uh, health dashboard that we just looked at. Uh, so bookmark it and it also has uh, what's new uh, kind of information. Um, how do I begin? A lot of good information. So this is a good page to bookmark. And now let's, uh, part of the documentation portal is the known issues page. As the name suggests on this page, you will find a list of all the known issues with OCI services. On the right is the navigation page that uh, shows all the different services. You can pick and choose the service that you want to explore uh, the known issues about and see if any of these uh, issues resonates uh, with what you are experiencing. And within an issue, we summarize the details and then we also talk about the uh, workarounds, if any. Uh, an example is with Storage Gateway, uh, an issue about uh, uh, the size being not reported properly with the DF command. And it talks about uh, uh, why that is the case and uh, it also talk about the, talks about the workaround of running the uh, DU command and what its limitations are, etc. So this can be a good resource for you as well. All right, the next thing is uh, uh, more of uh, uh, Q&A and knowledge base kind of resources that you have. And uh, you can go to the Oracle Cloud Customer Connect portal. Uh, and you can uh, uh, open an account there. Let's take a quick look at that portal. So here is the cloudcustomerconnect.oracle.com uh, portal. So go, go there if you already have account, log in. If you don't have account, you can create one uh, using your uh, uh, 
corporate uh, email. Uh, once you log in, uh, it provides a ton of uh, useful information. There are uh, useful uh, forums that you can become part of. Uh, uh, you can have uh, discussions uh, and you know learn more about events and uh, some of the up updates that have uh, come about recently. Uh, within the forums, uh, you can select if you are using Oracle uh, SaaS products, go there. Uh, if you are using uh, infrastructure, this session is focused on OCI. Uh, Oracle infrastructure, which is AIS kind of offering and has some PaaS services in it as well. So if you uh, are interested in, in these services, you can uh, click on this dashboard and you'll be able to uh, find a lot of uh, relevant information uh, about these services. Uh, let's look at an example. So in this uh, uh, forum, you can post your questions and uh, you can uh, uh, get answers by uh, OCI experts to those questions. Uh, there is a rating system uh, as well. Uh, and that way uh, you can vote on answers and mark things as answered, etc. Uh, another resource that you potentially can use uh, is to use Stack Overflow. Uh, and uh, I'm sure everybody is familiar with Stack Overflow uh, website. You can go there, just tag your questions with Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. And, uh, you know, we, we have started building a community here as well. So this is another resource to look at uh, uh, issues that other users have faced and their potential uh, solutions as well. All right, uh, now let's talk about uh, My Oracle Support, MOS, MOS. Uh, you can go to support.oracle.com. If you are a first time uh, user, you register your account with your email address, you verify uh, through uh, the email that we send you that it's actually your address uh, and uh, uh, accept terms, etc. It's a uh, fairly straightforward process. And once you have access to My Oracle uh, support, uh, you can then uh, uh, log in. And once you log in, you'll find uh, a really rich portal for, uh, for support as well as for uh, knowledge as well. As you can see, there are several options. Uh, there is a uh, help section. Uh, that can help you customize this dashboard, a lot of rich information, uh, and uh, you can look at some of these links. Uh, an example is uh, you can create your power views because Oracle has a lot of services. You can filter uh, which services and which things related to support you are interested in looking at and create one or multiple power views by using these filters as well. Uh, there is uh, a knowledge section. So, you know, a knowledge base is right here as well. So you can uh, click on different tabs or you can, um, my dashboard has knowledge base linked to it. So I can, um, let's see uh, if I type this uh, uh, search term, uh, you can get some uh, useful information on the topic that you are looking for. Uh, you can uh, create your service requests and look at your existing service requests and, uh, and their status uh, right here as well. So we already looked at, uh, uh, at these uh, items. Um, all right, so now let's look at uh, uh, how do you check your uh, current limits uh, in OCI? for all the services uh, that you are using and the resources that you have launched. And uh, what you can do in case you are running close to the limits, uh, how can you get your limits increased? So for that, uh, it's very convenient. Uh, you can just log into your uh, OCI console. So here I've logged into my OCI console. Uh, you can do a couple of things here. Uh, for details, uh, you can go to this governance tab uh, and there is a link to limits, uh, quotas. Oh, looks like I need to uh, log in again. Um, okay. 
you can um, go to the governance uh, section and click on limits, quotas, and uh, usage. It's going to uh, give you information about your current limits for all the different uh, services. Uh, the limits can be uh, in a particular AD uh, or it can be at a, at a region level. So you choose the limit and uh, you can see, uh, for example, uh, in this case, uh, you know, I, I have uh, the service limit of just one instance and I have one available, but there could be places where I need uh, more resources. Uh, and to make those uh, requests, I can just uh, click on this uh, link and uh, enter some details, uh, your uh, contact information and uh, uh, which service uh, you want uh, to request the service limit increase in. Uh, and uh, then you choose the exact, in this case, I chose compute. So I'm going to choose the, uh, the instance uh, size uh, the, that I'm interested in. And, and then you put in a, a reason for your request and submit the request. Uh, another way of reaching the same place uh, is if you click on the help uh, link within uh, the console, uh, you can also request your service limit increases uh, right here. You can also uh, initiate a live chat with uh, OCI support. Uh, and uh, you can also actually get good documentation or information on uh, on opening uh, service requests. We have briefly looked at the Myers uh, Oracle support portal. So it uh, provides information on uh, how to open tickets and when you open your service requests, uh, you would be asked certain information. Uh, how do you get that information? Uh, for example, the, how do you find the uh, the OSID of uh, of a resource, which is a unique identifier for each resource in OCI? So when you are opening your service request, you might need some uh, information, which is available uh, through this uh, documentation page as well. We looked at this form. Okay, uh, the next topic is about uh, uh, SLAs uh, and uh, service level agreements are, uh, are very uh, important uh, in any enterprise uh, operations environment. Uh, Oracle Cloud Infrastructure offers industry's uh, best and first uh, set of SLAs that cover not just availability, but also manageability and performance of your uh, OCI resources. Uh, the best analogy uh, is uh, on in this uh, to distinguish between availability performance and manageability slas is uh, is to think in terms of operating a, a car uh, so the availability sla says that your uh, car is operational uh, so that's good but that's not enough uh, in along with being operational uh, you need to be able to steer your car or to manage your car that's what uh, you know you the manageability sla is all about uh, managing your resources in oci it's not enough that they are uh, available it's also important that you can actually uh, reconfigure them change them uh, and uh, manage them appropriately and then last but not the least is the performance sla uh, going by the analogy, it means that no, no, not only is your car operational and not only can you uh, steer it and make changes as you see fit, but it's also going to uh, run at at least uh, 65 miles an hour, for example, or at least 50 miles an hour or whatever the SLA is, but there is a performance component uh, to it as well. And in an in, in, uh, enterprise operational in, uh, environment, especially if you're using mission critical workloads, all three SLAs are uh, important. Uh, you can find more information about uh, these uh, SLAs uh, by visiting the SLA page. Uh, availability is about uptime and connectivity. Manageability is about managing, monitoring, and modification of resources. And performance is uh, uh, guarantees of uh, uh, 
minimal performance that you can expect. And then we uh, provide on a on a service by service uh, uh, basis uh, what these uh, uh, SLA details are uh, and how you can be or how much you can be compensated. Uh, we actually also have a, a pillar document which is linked in this uh, uh, deck. You can uh, visit this. It's a, a PDF. Uh, this also goes into SLAs in, in a lot of uh, uh, detail if you are interested in, in learning uh, uh, in detail about all these SLAs. We divide services into different categories and for each category uh, SLA is uh, uh, fully defined. Right? What does category mean? One means or two means and three means and which services are included in it and uh, what are the related uh, definition on what availability or unavailability means uh, are all uh, defined properly in this document. Uh, and there is a notion of uh, uh, severity levels. These are important when you open your uh, service requests. You can uh, report severity one, two, three, or four uh, type of incident. Severity one is uh, uh, means that you know it's a mission critical uh, kind of application, and you're experiencing a complete lot of loss of service. So this is the most critical uh, of the levels, and then. Uh, two, three, and, and four uh, becomes less and less uh, uh, severe. Uh, these uh, levels are, uh, are, are defined uh, in the support process and severity level uh, document. The support process also talks about uh, all the steps uh, that we already looked at in terms of getting access to my Oracle support and opening SRs, etc. But towards the end, it also talks about uh, severity levels. Uh, and uh, the last thing I want to talk about is how to contact my Oracle uh, support. The contact information is, uh, uh, is available on oracle.com slash support slash contact. And uh, from here, uh, you can uh, actually browse to uh, your country and uh, find the contact information. You can actually click on this uh, link on the side and uh, and get direct access uh, as well. But you can see all the content information about uh, support is, uh, is, is right here. Okay, uh, in summary, uh, we looked at uh, uh, how, what kind of uh, options you have for getting uh, help uh, and support uh, when you are operating in OCI. Uh, we also looked at uh, OCI console and how do you how you can find your current uh, limits and how much uh, usage you have right now. How to request additional resources with service level uh, increased requests. And uh, we looked at uh, service level uh, agreements about the manageability performance as well as availability SLEs. Uh, and we looked at how to uh, contact uh, Oracle My Support uh, as and when you need it. Thank you uh, for your time.